In this demo, let's see how you can calculate moving average in Encarta. For example, in this table, you can see by each date, what is the total revenue? And this column is showing you seven days moving average. So it sums up revenue for last seven days, for example, in this particular row, divides it by seven and shows this value here. So this is seven days moving average. And this is showing seven days moving average for the same day. What that means is, let's say uh, this day is Monday. So what it will do is it will calculate sum up revenue for Monday for last seven weeks, every Monday last seven weeks, and then divide by seven. And then you will get this value here. So the data set I have is uh, starting with 2000 uh, 1st of January. So as you as you progress, you get better data after like seven weeks, you will see the moving average for uh, same day last seven weeks in this column. So let's see how you can design this, uh, this table uh, from scratch. So let me just open a new tab and I'll start from here so that you can see how it's designed. Let's add an aggregated table here. And I'm going to use a result set to design this. Uh, I will aggregate a revenue by date using result set. And then on top of that, I will apply moving average using ego function. So to do this, let's create a new result set and uh, I'm going to use sales data set and let's do aggregation of sales and revenue by sales. Let's save this. And now I'm going to use this result set that I just designed to do moving average calculation. Okay, so let's bring in sales date here and revenue here. So before we do that calculation, let's see how this uh, ego function works. That will be easier for us to do the moving average. So this one here, let's make it rounded. And since we are doing a same day moving average for last seven weeks, same day, so let me put day also here so that will say how that we'll see how that calculation is done so let's call it day and then uh, change the days, date marks to e and then it's showing me day here okay now uh, let's uh, see how you can use echo function to do this moving average calculation let me show you how you can use echo function. So let's do sum of revenue and then you can use echo function where you can use sales date. And let's test it for like one day ago, right? And date part is day here. Let's format this and let's see how it works. So it's showing me sales one day ago, right? one day ago so this is good and i also want to calculate sales like if this is saturday what was sales on saturday last week so this particular value the way you will calculate that is let's copy this formula in a new formula here and add this and let's say seven days ago right so this is Saturday sales on Saturday last week was 44,117 and this is 44117 right so I'm able to fetch that value now we'll just use these formulas to calculate moving average let me show you how you will do that so let's uh, copy this formula in clipboard and let me add a new formula here and what we are going to do is we are going to do sum of this for last seven days and then divide it by seven right so let's do sum of current row right and then add it to this
and then we can just copy paste this here. One, two, three, four. four five six right so this is one and then we'll make this two three days ago four days ago let's make it five days ago let's make this six days ago so this is last seven days this one plus other six and then let's divide it by seven and let's wrap all of these under this bracket inside this bracket so this bracket is closing here and then divide by seven let's validate and see there you go so now we have seven days moving average okay now uh, same way exactly same way we can do let's take this formula and then we can do seven days moving average for same day every week let's copy this formula here and then this will be seven this will be 14 21 28, 35, and 42. And we already dividing this by 7. Let's validate and save. All right. So 7 days moving average for same day. And then I don't need this. I don't need this. And day also we can remove. Now, if you want to do conditional formatting, for example, revenue for a particular day, let's take this row here. If this is greater than this, this is 15,261, seven day moving, oh, compare this, seven day moving average. So this is greater than this, so we, which is good, right? It is, it is more than the seven days moving average, which is really good. So we should show this in green color. If it is less, like this is less, right? then it means it is less than the moving average we should show this in red so the way you can do this conditional formatting is let's take this formula and in the conditional formatting here i can just drag and drop this formula and put this here right so what i'm going to do here is i'm com going to compare this revenue here so if this sum is greater than this let's put this inside bracket this whole thing so this bracket is closing okay if sum of this revenue is greater than this then return one else zero okay and let's save this now all i need to do is and this is aggregation i should select formula here and then for condition if equal to one background color show it in green and then text color show it in white right so let's see if this is correct Oh, I, I was supposed to put this under revenue, not here. Uh, so I don't know why I did this uh, that way, but we can we can go back and copy that formula there. So let's uh, remove this formula here. We don't need this. I was supposed to do this here. So let's put this formula here. So let's put this formula here validate and save and then for conditional formatting if this is equal to one background color is green and then foreground color is white and uh, it is showing green for everything because i need to select formula here 
let's save this and uh, now i want to put other color as well so let's do that red color for rest right so go back here add condition this equals uh, zero then let's select say okay now let's see if this is correct or not so if this is greater than seven days moving away this is green this one is less than this this is red cool so looks like it's working 